Hey everybody, I am going to use the Deco Art Clear Pouring Top Coat that I was sent to um, demonstrate for you. So this painting, um, I used the Deco Art Pouring Medium, um, and I'm I think it is video three twenty three three nine. 318 I believe um, and I used it as directed without adding water or flow trial and it was really thick um, so if I were to ever use it again I would definitely thin it out um, there appears to be and I don't let's see there is a sheen to it but it is un even, ugh, and I don't think it's showing up. Um, like this is shiny, but then there's like a pattern of shininess and you can even feel it. Like this part is pretty matte and then this part is shiny. Um, so I'm not really sure why um, it's like that. Because they are all mixed the same, 50% paint, 50%... Um, Pouring medium. Whoops. Get me a little closer. All right. So it says to have it on a 45 degree tilt and let it air dry. Um, so I'm not really sure if this is 45 degrees, but oh, I do want to tape the back up. Um, it, where is my tape? It doesn't say to tape the back. But, um, I don't want to get this on the back of it. And the surface I'm working on is actually the lid to, um, the paint. I just did a resin painting. So this is the, um, the painting is inside of here. Hence the name Resin Coffin that I have named it. So yeah, this it is weird that it's two separate textures. Um, they asked me to submit if I liked using it, submit the video and stuff, but I honestly can't recommend it um, to be used as directed because <laughs> um, it's thick, it's expensive, if you're using it that way, um, I did two paintings and I used eight ounces. So that would get really pricey. But we'll see how this top coat works because all of us are always looking for a perfect um, glossy top coat. And I just have this thing down here because I didn't want the painting directly touching the paper because I figured that would stick. And I don't think I'm supposed to, what does it say? Um, do not shake. So, okay, so it doesn't even say stir. It says, do not shake, pour over dry painted surface, tilt surface for even coverage, and drain off excess to prevent pooling. Smooth out sides with palette knife or brush. Place at 45 degree angle and allow to air dry overnight. If a thicker finish is desired, apply to a second coat and place it at the opposite 45 degree angle. All right. So I am not tilting it, I, or I'm not stirring it, not doing anything. I guess I'm just pouring it on. Um, maybe I'll move these. It's thick. It 
Gotta be patient with us. I suppose you won't have brush marks. Hesitant to add more. So this is not, um, this is not so easy, and I feel like I am wasting it, getting it to spread around. Look at all this that is on. See if I can scoop some and put it on. It appears that I can. That appears to work. It does look self-leveling that way. So it looks like it's all covered. Um, and it looks like there's no pooling. Okay. okay I'm just gonna touch up these sides because where I was holding it, you know, I've got. seem promising but um, on the other hand I just used almost four ounces and I'm not sure what the cost of this is but um, I don't know how far that I'll take I suppose I should try and tilt off a little more just in case Nope. It's not moving, so I suppose it's good. I'm going to touch up those corners again. And let it 
it dry. And I'm super curious as to how it will turn out. So, I will find out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, everybody. I want to update you on my results with Deco Art Clear Pouring Top Coat. Um, this is the painting that I coated, and it is gorgeous. I mean, it is a real smooth finish. Um, it is the most, um, I would say, resin-like finish I've seen. Um, you can see how shiny it is. And you pour it on so there are zero brush strokes. Um, and I taped the back so the back stayed clean. Um, it is really impressive. Um, I really love it. Uh, it is a little pricey though. Um, this eight ounce size is, uh, 1477 and I used about a third of it on a 10 by 10 painting. So that's like $5 to coat this. Um, so I would imagine um, it would take me almost a whole eight ounce for one of my larger ones. So it is an expensive option for sure. But if you're afraid of resin or you just don't want to use it, um, this stuff looks amazing. Um, I'm hoping you can kind of see it. I mean, it is shiny and pretty and I would um, so I would recommend this one I really like it and I added it to my Amazon store um, which the link is in the description and I'm really happy with this piece so thumbs up on the deco art clear pouring top coat and I will catch y'all later bye